The reason why I'm using a water tank, as you know, our church is still in the infancy stage of having a facility. And after our, I watched the Cowboys for Christ baptize people in a water tank, I thought, you know, we can do that. And uh, I want to welcome all of you here to, to witness. Uh, Jesus, when he was watching, came to see John the Baptist. And John, he preached repentance from the, the ways of the world. And he preached about the coming one, Jesus who was coming. And Jesus came and he wanted John to baptize him. He said, well, I, I couldn't baptize you. And he says, uh, well, Jesus said, you're going to have to because this is God's plan. John baptized with water. But my friend Jesus has come to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. And what this is, this is an outward sign like the wedding band. I wear this wedding band to remind myself I'm married to my wife, Carol. And this water here is a witness for the people out here to show what's happened into Dylan's heart that he's born again. He's a new creature in Christ. And God has translated him as well as you, born and being saved. He's translated you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son to the new birth. And so this water here is to signify that you've been buried with Christ and Christ went into the inner regions of hell. When I was a young teenager, I had a vision of hell and I was heading faceward into it. And so this water this morning will signify as you go down faceward that you went down into the inner regions of hell with Christ. And there Jesus paid the price for your sins and suffered for you. And friend, as you come up, you're coming up with this resurrected one who raised Jesus from the dead, the same Holy Ghost, who's filling you today with his life and who's filling you today with fire. John preached repentance. And I say to you this morning, repent from the evil of the world. The trees out here, they get the wind and the natural things of storms and different things and lightning. But friend, they don't create evil, it's man who goes with the evil world with Satan himself and that fruit comes out of man. It's man that creates the evil and manifestation on this earth. And the Bible preaches to repent from that. Don't go that direction, but go with God who's put a life inside you. Now you've got the Holy Ghost to stand and strengthen and power to say yes to God, amen? Would you stand in here? Dylan, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? By this, you're identifying yourself with the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Be immersed into death, being identified with new life in Christ. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is a sign to all those. Now they see, amen, that you're identified with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Mackenzie, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then enter in. Be identified with the death that Jesus suffered for you. He went down in the inner regions. He went in the inner regions face first for you. Hallelujah. And he came out alive for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jessica, glory to God. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Or your Savior Jesus? He went down in that inner region. He suffered three days and three nights. And there was a man who was in hell. And he looked up and he said, send somebody to tell my five brothers. Oh, don't come here. And that man who was there had compassion for the lost. But the answer was, if you can't hear the preaching, he'll never believe someone raised from the dead. And God has honored you as you stood in faith and believed in God. Even though you haven't seen him, you believe what the Bible says. So be immersed. Go down into his death. Hallelujah. Go down into his suffering. Glory to God. And come up. Hallelujah. Into this new life in Christ. Patrick, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Well, the Bible commands to repent. Repent from the evil of the world. Get away from men of evilness, but get close to God. He's put his Holy Ghost inside you to walk out in the power of his spirit. Be identified to his death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. Praise the Lord. Rising up into a new life in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Darcy, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then enter in to his death. Hallelujah. Amen. His burial and his suffering for you. Be immersed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And rise up into this everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>